Hello. Oh. Uh, where would you like to start today? I think it would be helpful to go over uh, Kathleen's comments and then uh, Hannes's comments, I think, are things that um, we should probably discuss how we want to respond to. Okay. So, yeah, this one covers, uh, do you, I think this covers okay. all of Kathleen's comments, doesn't it, Hank? Uh, no, so. this does not, uh, not all of them. No, this does not cover. Sorry. Okay. So we should cover this, and then I guess it would be useful to me if we wanted to look at uh, since I have read Hannes's and Kathleen's emails, um, but to figure out whether we have extra action items and what the next steps are, I think it would be useful to call those up. Now that most people should have been able to read them because it's been over a week, right? Yeah, so uh, um, there are issues from Kathleen also. So I, I, I as, as agreed upon, I cut the, I thought, editorial stuff into the PR and everything mm -hmm. that we have to discuss about is an issue now. So the least, the less the part of non contentious stuff is going in the PR or is in the PR, basically. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for doing this, Hank. And hygiene is not in the PR. Uh... Meaning, I think what you just typed, Michael, was. Uh, okay. I excluded that uh, and therefore altered her proposals. That's why mm -hmm. I highlighted this because I did not put cut them one on one, but I substitute mm -hmm. hygiene with integrity and verify with evaluate. Uh, so I meddled with her input and I, I made a note of that. So it's not uh, intransparent. Mm -hmm. So Ned, Ned is not on yet. Yes. Um, so I think I looked through Kathleen's suggestions and they're probably as good as or better than the current text. Still not great, but I didn't have any immediate suggestions as to how to improve them. And so. I don't have any comments there. It just looked like Ned did. So uh, on, on and, the, I, and I I couldn't figure out whether Ned was in favor or opposed yeah, based exactly. on his comments. So I, I, if he if he, they'd been all positive or he'd been clearly positive, then I would have just merged yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I think to me we could say more about trust, but um, But it's still the, the change. I mean, it, we didn't before either. So that's why I said that. Yeah, I think I get uh, what you mean, Dave. This is better. And if Ned yeah. has a viable comment, we may have to capture it somehow. Yeah. Uh, I think it's harder to find it if we close this, um, but still it will not be gone. Right. right. But you were just taking Kathleen's actual wording suggestions and, and putting in the actual text unless you thought you had a better word for someplace, right? That was what you're doing here. Yeah, I only yeah. exchanged two words. Uh, yeah. One of them was hygiene because I put it in discussion, and uh, yeah, evaluate was okay. a little bit more generic. Hey, part. Can you go to the two lines that you made a change to, just so I can see what the difference was between your word and her word? Yeah, her word mm -hmm. is hygiene. I exchanged it with Which integrity. Is... What line? Uh, Control F. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only one hygiene here, so. Uh, I don't know. She, she suggested hygiene? No, yeah, she put just, I, I put integrity in there. Ah, integrity might be more than one, so maybe, I don't know. Integrity shows up once in your diffs right here. Oh, is it? Okay. That is weird because it's not the change. No, it is. So ah, okay, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Yes, right, it is. So, yeah, it is correct. Yeah, I put it here. I were, yeah, I, I, I read that in question the word integrity, but I didn't if I have any better suggestions. So um, yeah, we could use hygiene. <laughs> so I, so I guess that's the question, right? I yeah. guess that's the question is which one do people think is better, integrity or hygiene or something else? I guess I don't have a strong I answer. I'm used to the word hygiene having to do with strict crypto kind of concept. Um it's like, you know, change your keys, brush your teeth. Wash your face. Um, 
And I don't know if I would apply it to the whole system, but I don't object to it. I just don't know that I would have, not a word I would have picked. Mm -hmm. So this Thank is you, only Hank. Hank. Go ahead, Hank. Okay, so this is only, um, I, I am aware that hygiene is good, but at some point you can overdo it. So if you're living in a clean room, your immune system basically is not happy about that. So you can overdo it. And I don't think you can overdo hygiene with IT steps and maybe to the matter of cost maybe or, or runtime footprint or something. But, but basically I think hygiene is always adding a benefit and is never really hurtful as it is with humans. So it is a, uh, um, I don't know, um, it has a two-sided sword uh, analogy in the human world and I don't think it has here. Mm -hmm. So I was going to suggest, how does it sound if you replace integrity with the word state because state is already used in 232 for the same purpose oh yes thank you yes T typically i always say operational state because offline systems are not able to do remote attestation but i guess that's the same thing but 232 already talks about the state of a system 232 Meaning later in the same sentence, right? The policies to evaluate the state of the system. So you got to have an assessment of the state to evaluate against the expect. You know, you have the uh, ah, then, okay. state and the desired state, and you're checking to see yes. if the actual state matches the desired state. Yeah, state is also fine. State is also very generic and aligns with characteristics. So, yeah, sure. Okay, what was the other word? Um, let me think. I, ah, it's um, verify, I exchange with evaluate, because we are in the use cases and verify was already close to verifier. And I thought, Ma, this is a use case, it should be a, have a little bit different terminology and I was going with uh, evaluate. And was that in the same sentence? No. I said different place. Yeah, different place. Uh, I agree with your, with your uh, change. Yeah, that was the same sentence we were just looking at. Oh, it was. I, of course. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 agree, I agree that your word is better than the original suggestion. So. Okay. Yeah. Then basically, this is uh, uh, except of Ned's uh, comment. I think this is not uh, under any contest. I assume. So Thomas suggests that Ned wants to ch change this sentence. Yeah, having. Got some comments like this from Ned before. I think this is his style of, you know, proposing new text. Okay. No, oh, thanks, Thomas. Yeah. Well, he wants to put this text in here. I guess it continues with trustworthiness. To trust a decision that spans beyond the technical assertions. The decision to trust spans beyond the technical assertions of trustworthy as a quality of the computing environment. Hey, Ned, Tony. Hi, Ned. We're just trying to figure out if you what your whether you, that your suggestion, your text was your comment was a suggestion. Yeah. I guess in uh, Ned's suggestion, I get the first part of the of the wording suggestion. You know, the decision to trust spins beyond technical assertions, uh, and then I'm getting lost on the phrasing after that. By uh, specifically, the, I guess the preposition to is yeah. talking about uh, and focuses on or something like that, maybe. What do you mean by the decision to trust focuses on trustworthiness as a quality? And yeah, I'm trying to make sense of what was there. Um, I mean, to, to me, I think the text, what we're trying to say, and maybe other people have different interpretation of what we're trying to say is uh, trustworthiness as a 
quality that are in, and a trust is in trust is a statement about yourself, meaning the 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 receiver of the information. Trustworthiness is a quality of the sender of the information, and trust a decision is a decision made by the receiver of the information. Right. That's <laughs> some difference is trying to draw. Yeah. So the decision is the receiver. Yeah. The focus of the receiver is on the um, sender, which is its sender is the competing environment and the quality of the competing environment as distinguished by trustworthiness. Um, reads. Michael, can you scroll up just a little bit now that we've hidden? I want to see the rest of the state sentence. No, sorry, just scroll down. So I want to see uh, the rest of the sentence that starts with trustworthiness is. Okay, assessed via evidence. Okay, you can go back. Um, Want to change it, the the two to an and? Um, here, considering whether we should swap the order of these two sentences. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that would bring trustworthy as a worthiness as a quality that is assessed via evidence before. That's what I'm trying to figure out if that makes it any easier or not. Okay, I'm gonna click resolve mm -hmm. conversation to remove that from our view. You want me to try that? Um, no, I think I think it starts with the decision to trust, and then trustworthiness, and then the difference. So if the the, the things that are is about, I assume uh, more at the beginning of the sentence, it's easier to see what difference we are talking about. Otherwise, you have to restate it in the in the next sentence. Is starting with this is a subtle difference. So um, I think it would be easier if the things we are talking about are at the beginning of the sentence. Order doesn't really matter, I think. I'm open up, opening up one on my, my how do I oh wait a second. I'm trying to figure out how do I collapse the conversation thing on my own screen? Up, um, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, what is resolve conversation? I think it will I think if you reload it it'll be resolved because I just resolved it. Okay, gotcha. No, all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do a drag and add a comment to 109 and 110, which spins across the suggested change. And yeah. uh, so, so actually, it's probably better for me to either abort, remove, or or go forward with this change and then do the. Okay, that yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, what so. Else? Yep. Uh, can I interject something here? <clears throat> Uh, this this notion of trustworthiness and attestation affirming trustworthiness is not quite right in my opinion, um, because the system itself may not be worth trustworthy. You know what, what what's happening is is an assertion that the system is something, and then evidence supporting the claim that that is. So perhaps you have more reason to trust it, but whether it's trustworthy or not is something totally outside the attestation mechanism. I see your point. Yeah, but I think the point here is also it's about the trustworthiness of the uh, what's called the target environment. You trust the testing environment, and you found found out about what the state of the target environment here. So uh, and you can assess that via, via evidence. So, so the, the attestation gives an assertion that something is is something, and evidence that what you expect that assertion to imply is indeed true. And if you can infer trust from that at the uh, appraising end, that's great. That's what we're after. But it's not a statement of trustworthiness on the system itself. But that is correct. It has no meaning about how trustworthy something is. That is correct. It is based on the evidence. That is correct. This is basically the last sentence here. So, so the yeah. would be that. Uh, sorry. Uh, but I think it, it, we need to distinguish between sort of random information that doesn't lead toward the decision of trustworthiness 
And if we have a problem trying to refer to that class of information as trust trustworthiness claims, then okay. But uh, we also need to disambiguate from random information that has nothing to do with trustworthiness evaluation. All right. Um, I wasn't listening to this discussion and I just posted a wording change and you guys might not like it, but I just tried to capture what it was that I said we thought we were trying to say. And maybe it needs a third sentence or maybe you guys don't like it at all. But uh, if you. Yeah, there we go. Fine. Uh, uh, I said from my point of view, uh, okay. this is uh, abstracting away the problem we just heard, and it still fits with the following sentence. But don't merge it yet because I, it drops the beginning of the next sentence. That this is a subtle difference in being. So I got to retype that in so it doesn't lose that. So. Okay. The comment you have, right. not a suggestion, anyway. Uh, no, no. Please refresh now. And now it is intended to be the actual. Um, oh, currently I didn't do it. Suggest changes. Let me edit it one more time. If uh, moment. Okay, refresh. Oh, all right, see a typo, hold on. It's still early, sorry. <laughs> well, the main change that I see again. is that you remove the evidence Binding, so to speak, which I think is fine because evidence we have to talk about on a more general sense in any case. So, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to update it one more time just to make the diffs look easier because I'm going to put the uh, actually, no, it's not going to make it any easier because I was going to put the line break back in. Um, yeah, there's a line break at trustworthiness. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Might, as start, might as well start that sentence on its own line too. Yeah, okay. D done. Go ahead and refresh. I think that should make it look okay. there. So I think it was Hank made the point about your trust, you're uh, evaluating, you know, trustworthiness about the target environment, but you're trusting the, the testing environment. This sentence seems to be focused on the target environment. Do we want to have? It is. We're right. going to have to. My, my claim is this one is very early, and this is not a sentence about the attesting or the target environment. This is a statement about the attester, right? And the attester, could, the, the whole notion of target environment and attesting environment and how many layers and things there are is all in a much later section. So this is just a generic statement about the attester as a whole. So that's why the word system was used in the text that I have in there without using the word as uh, attester, which is later in the document in line. You know, I'm trying not to use terms that were only defined later, so that's my answer to your question. Is it clear when it says the other system, what was the first system if there's an other system? Yes, line 109 is an other system, and so the refers to the same one as in 109. Okay. So this is phrased as saying trust is a choice that you get to make. Trustworthiness is a property of that other guy that you're choosing to trust or not. Yeah, okay. I think it's fine. Okay.
happy with the whole with the rest of the the whole thing as a whole i think so because the rest other than those words other than those places we just looked at right like the rest is exactly what kathleen's suggestions was right yes and let's so, a very well, uh, kathleen would be okay with it so <laughs> So should we talk about other uh, things that Kathleen wanted us to do that are not addressed yet to see if they are controversial, yeah. straightforward? Where do they start? I if think we... start with appraisal policy. Nice. Appraisal policy for the second one. Yeah, I think that's the first. Um. I'm trying to refresh my memory on this one. Um. I think there's one subtle difference between the original and Kathleen's one. So now I'm going to read, uh, Hank, what you said here. Um, okay, so the subtle difference between what's in the original and what's in the proposed by Kathleen is that uh, a set of rules to verify implies that the outcome is Boolean. It doesn't require that, but that's the natural meaning of verify to me, whereas uh, the original one was direct how implies that it's more flexible and not limited to only Boolean. And so here she's picking on the word direct. Yeah, like in the, in the context of steering something or steering a decision, basically. So policy steer decisions, I assume. So I, I'm not sure I understand what she doesn't like about direct. If if the word was control, that has the same meaning. Um, yeah, steer or control or something like that. So like I said, the, it, it, although it may be uh, typical for a relying party to make a Boolean decision, a relying party could make a decision that's not Boolean. Uh, and an example of that is, let's say you have uh, three, you know, three conceptual security groups, you know, anonymous, authenticated, and root, or something like that, right? And so, based on it, you could make, you could put it into, uh, you know, an anonymous if it's not trusted. You can put it into root if it's trusted, or if it's, uh, it can make a decision that says, well, it's only kind of sort of, and so it doesn't get root permissions. It gets, you know, this other group permissions. It's the kind of sort of low. You know, low security operations, but not high security operations. And so that's kind of a or or or, or uh, it it's might trustworthy, well, but it's I, not to do with all the patches that kind of thing. Or it might be unwilling to give you the highest quality video because right. it's suspicious, but it's not certain. Doesn't want to piss you off, but it just does. Oh, it'll give you 720p, but not 4K. Yeah, you, you, you're cleared for secret, but not top secret clearance. You know that kind of thing. And so that's why it, it could, in theory, be not Boolean, and that's why you know to use to verify makes it sound like it's a Boolean decision, and a set of rules that control how is a little bit more flexible. So I kind of like the original wording better than to verify. But if she doesn't like direct, you know, control uh, or something like that, I'm fine with. I'm not quite sure what she doesn't think what she doesn't like about direct. Is it possible that there's other inputs beside attestation that the relying party would use? So exactly. Yes. Yes. Right. It has, well, Correct. certainly yes, because it has a policy rule. <clears throat> so it really is informing the um, relying party that uh, here's some input that you can use into whatever decision you're going to make about trust. 
Um, to me, it's not just the input. It's more like the uh, almost the algorithm by which you make the decision. And so you can control what set of inputs other than the appraisal policy. The appraisal policy is how to use those inputs to do things. Yeah. So I, I see appraisal forms. as a, a place where you can take all the information about attestations and make a statement about uh, something I sometimes call expectedness of the system. You have uh, the attesting system has proven or not proven its claims against some appraisal policy. That then mm -hmm. becomes input into a larger trust decision that's going to be made that may uh, use other things besides just attestation information. <clears throat> so if direct is too strong, uh, maybe we can say it informed our relying party uses. Is, that's uh, yeah, I kind of like that, Ned. Yeah, that's what's been fun. It sounds uh, very placed. Yeah, I think that makes Peter's point, right? Because if you're using information other than attestation, like uh, if uh, the credentials you authenticated with was another input, and that the credentials you authenticate with in the protocol from the tester to the relying party isn't part of attestation, then that also is used in there, that Peter's point. And so I kind of like in forums, like Ned said. I don't have a better suggestion than this. Is the word, I, is the sentence becomes informs how? Yes. Okay. Like, uh, I personally like the how in there better than the to verify phrase that Kathleen suggested for the reasons that I explained. Mm -hmm. And so I like Ned's suggestion so far. One word change. Yep. The original. Yeah. Anybody have a better uh, suggestion? Because that's the best I've heard so far. It's fine. Um, I don't know if I need to make a pull request, but I wanted to do that so that you could see yeah. what I wrote. There we go. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, grammar, edit that one again. Yeah, what would you like to say? Rules that inform. A set of you have to delete the s on informs to make the grammar match as rules as plural yeah, i think that's why i had difficulty with the word oh, wait, no, no, no 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 i, I i'm wrong um oh. you can read it I, I understand how ned um so said yeah depends on how you read the the, the that phrase is, is modified exactly so that's rules. why i had i found so, it i found okay. it awkward yeah Be it's singular. Okay either way it's okay either way so go ahead and merge Okay. Okay, next issue. Uh, that didn't close automatically. I didn't write the right magic word. Oh. Will it, is there a way to make it make a GitHub? If I if I had something? if I had made the comment being, change, uh, uh for detail close hash ninety six, then it would have automatically closed. If you put the word close before the hash, is that yeah. the magic? Huh. I, I think, think so. so. <laughs> I'll, I'll I don't know. Research that. I didn't know that there was a way. Now that you said, uh, there's a way? It, yeah, it's there's some, yeah, some GitHub magic. Huh? I, I think there's I think there's <laughs> really a. I think GitHub has a has a you know a nursery of Vietnamese children that do this work for them. But uh, I always have to do it in two steps. Now, now you've given me a hint to that there's something I can look up. So, all right, next. Um, I think 
can't tell. I think if, if that I haven't read to the bottom yet, but I, I think I think it doesn't go in the actual document. The word I think. No. No, that's why I was trying to figure out what the suggestion. No, this is not a. Yeah. It's not a suggestion, right? I'm trying to understand yeah. his co his comment. I think it should be tamper evident, not temper evident. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> it's not important yeah. that. It, it, cho Hank's children may be temper evident, but so did yeah, Ned's suggestion his book. Book. Can you scroll down just a little bit to see more of the responses? Uh I'm trying to figure out did Ned did you have a specific okay, there's your perhaps, okay. Um, so at the bottom where it says perhaps colon a test or dash is that Ned's suggestion or is that a quote from somebody else? The one at the bottom. And it's from up here. It's Kathleen's comment from here. Okay, gotcha. All right, got it. So I can ignore everything in the from Hank because all that is quotes from above. The only thing that's new is Ned's paragraph at the very top. Okay. All right. So that agrees. The intuition is, is, is to list a set of data that typically represents trustworthiness attributes, which he agrees with. And then somebody's text in here had something about it maybe digitally signed or something like that, but uh, which is what I think Hank was referring to, but I don't remember where I saw that. Oh, it's in Kathleen's, the evidence may be digitally signed, and Hank says no, it's stronger than that. Okay. <clears throat> so the problem I have with the original text is it's mostly describing a tester from the perspective of the verifier or the relying party. <clears throat> and um, rather than just really focusing directly on what an attester is. Um, I don't I, know. To me, I think that's actually essential, but I'm not adamant about so, that. But to me, so you know, also, also we've changed the information doesn't make you an attester. We've changed the text since Kathleen reviewed it. Okay. What does um, it say? Do you want me to paste it in? Uh, here? I, I want to compare the yeah. I want to compare the original versus what you say we have now. Yeah. That works. Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay, so we changed. All right, so we just added typically a device, and we changed whose attributes to whose evidence. Okay. Uh, okay, right, I now have an opinion on it. Uh, I don't like Kathleen's suggestion. I like the original. Well, meaning the one that you just pasted in. So the reason I'll just explain my rationale in case others disagree. Right. Um, the production of information does not make you an attester. An attester is a role that you take on as part of the larger architecture when you're fitting into talking to a relying party for attestation purposes. And so you can generate stuff, but if it's not used for attestation, you're not an attester because you're not actually attesting to anything, right? You're you're reporting something, but you're not attesting to it unless you're it's the it's a statement about how the information is being used that actually makes you be called an attester. I tend to agree. <clears throat> so to respond to Kathleen's comment, the th wow. the the role it, it, it is it is describing a role. So uh, that's what it is is a role, and we say it's it's an entity. I still have I still have dissonance with. 
the being both an entity and a role, and we don't. It's hard to talk about it as. Um, and that's a big part here. I don't think we call them out roles explicitly. I think we tried to avoid them, and in the text we are still doing that all the time. So maybe we should bring this question back. Are these roles? We want to spell that out. I don't think we do. Yeah, I know. Every time I try to do this, I, I go down the path of saying it's a role and others go down the path of it's an entity. <clears throat> well, the entity is the box you could collapse roles in. We, we decided to we call it a principal yeah. once, and then it was an actor, and, and now it's an entity. So that is, again, the entity is the the aggregation box for all the things that we are not calling roles explicitly. Right. Uh, I, I agree with you, Ned, that it's actually a role. I don't know how to introduce that here without making the definition be harder to understand, but I do agree that it's a role. <clears throat> But uh, I think the main question that I think we need to see whether we agree with is, do we think it's important to define a tester uh, from an outsider's point of view? Or uh, as Kathleen is, suggestion, is suggesting, do we define it purely intrinsic to the, to the, to the thing, you know, the role, whatever? Um, my opinion is defining it from the outsider perspective is actually better. But, and I think, uh, I think, I think you said you agree, but I didn't hear if other people agreed or disagreed. Like, I mean, Mike, I, do you have an opinion? I, I think it's, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it as something like, you know, an attester is a role performed by an entity typically develops whose evidence must be appraised in order to infer it. To, I mean, I think that's all. Yeah. What's I, there is I, I like the way that you phrased that, Ned. I, yeah. I agree. I, I like that. I, that's not what Kathleen's comment is, but I agree with your point. Yeah. So, so if you put that in the front, and but then keep, you know, performed by an by an entity, typically a device, right? Then the, the, it's just seems fine to yeah. me. I don't know. Okay. So I agree with you. Um, I mean, so it sounds like. Uh, to Kathleen's point, it sounds like Hank and Ned and I are all in agreement to not accept her suggestion, but to, but instead to make an orthogonal change, which is Ned's suggestion. You walk me through that suggestion again. Go ahead, Ned. Tester colon is a role performed by an. Is a role well, performed by an entity, the rest of the sentence? Yeah. Um, Delete everything before, meaning delete everything with the up to the word is because we don't start the definitions with, you know, the term is. We just say follow what, what comes in the is. A role. Yeah, a role performed. A, a, a role performed by Anne. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to take another poll. Um, <clears throat> edits. Uh, reacting and close number 97. Uh, you're going to try the magic out here. Yeah. I was, see if I can, <laughs> see if I can phrase, phrase it. It's not, I have learned, I think it's not closing. It has to be closed, but, uh, <laughs> Come on. There's a guide on this. Um, also, <laughs> yeah, I, there is a guide on it, it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, type, guide to magic. Um, so I would take it on me to uh, try to map that edit to the other roles because then everything is defined yeah. the same. Um, yeah. I think that's fine, Yank. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I wrote. Capitalize the, uh, the letter A. Michael? Yep. yep. I'm I'm doing that. Um, okay, you're doing it offline. Okay. I'm doing it in my yeah, I yeah. So I'll put it in. All right, I get it. <laughs> uh do you do you uh want me to try to put the rest of those in? A role performed. 
So they would yeah, be the reformed. Other, sure. The other role definitions probably should follow a similar pattern. So, so this applies to a tester. So let me just go back. It doesn't apply to appraisal policy. No. Or appraisal policy. Tester, verifier, or loaning party. Use those tester, three. Uh, verifier. So a role performed by an identity for a relying party. And a verifier is a role performed by an identity. Verifier owner? No. Don't we define them. We don't define them as roles per se, do we? Well, if the if I, I we, think the definition we, first, we created a, an asterisk box instead of a line box. I don't know what that means. Um, how does scope supposed to be? Yeah. So that's why I don't know without looking at the definition. Because it's out of scope, we might have have to refer to them as roles formally. Just depends on the wording. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And reload. Okay. So that's the three changes I made. Ah, looks good. Uh, what wait, 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 wait. for endorser and the uh, two go, owner? Go back to those changes. Actually, uh, I, yeah, we should look at the words for endorser too. Wait, okay. Um, you want to see endorser? No, no, no. Uh, I was looking at line 154. Um, actually, I'm looking at all three of those. I'm just making sure that the comma is correct, and I guess it was there before, so. Yes, it was. Okay. All right. I, I can leave it since it was there before. Now, because here's what I'm looking at, um, what caught my attention, Michael. If you look down at 162. Yes, no comma. Okay, there's no comma before that, and then you look at 154, there's a comma before that, and then similarly in 134, there's a comma before whose, and so those three things don't match. I'm guessing it's probably more correct to remove the commas and match 162 as long as it still reads okay. Yeah, I, I hadn't noticed that until you had the, the one at the bottom, which has no comma. So uh, then 134, same thing. 34 has a comma? Yeah. Oh, before who, app yeah, is typically a device. Okay. Um, yeah. I didn't see the comma. It's probably there. okay either way. I'm just wanting to get to be consistent between the three places. So now that we have just those three up on the screen. So. All right, I'm good with these. And what, what are we saying for? Yeah, how do we want to respond to Kathleen? <laughs> uh, we've made a change. <laughs> Not the change you suggested. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you want me to have a? I, I can post my own personal comments into the issue from Kathleen. What? Uh, yeah. Which one? Uh, write something in that. Write what, something the, in that ticket number. number. Uh, what? This is ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Look, it's closed now. Um, <laughs> it, it, it did get closed. Oh, what do you know? Yeah, yeah. I just pushed oh. merge and it just get closed. Wow, magic! Yeah. Thanks for the demo. Magic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why don't you, yeah, write something at the bottom that says that we um, made a different change. And, and it should refer here to the changes that we did make, right? So there it did. Tell, tell, so someone, if she wants to figure out what we did instead, then she can read that commit. Well, we took her advice and focus on describing what it is. Based upon your re uh, uh, suggestion to reduce funding for the project, we have, in fact, increased funding. <laughs> <laughs> this happens, you know. One company in Ottawa, they got $100 million of investment, and I couldn't understand what they're going to do with $100 million because it was too, less to build hard too little to build hardware and too much to build software. I'm like, either give them more money or less, right? I mean... I don't understand. Anyway. Definition of evidence. 
All right, so I'm just posting my comment. If people want to read my comment on 97, just to make sure that um, you don't think I'm out of line. Yeah. Close enough? Close enough. Okay. Okay, let's kill another one of these. Yeah. Since, since she has exact wording suggestions, these are as easy to go through as any other pull request. So see how many we can just breeze through. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to have my comments on her suggestions, right? Um, uh, about a system slash firmware slash software sounds like a text that we used to have in a document that we didn't like when we replaced it with the name of the role. Like we changed from, you know, to evidence and to a tester and so on. And so there, I think the phrase of, uh, from a system firmware software, I don't like, um, yeah. the, the things that may include, um, I'm neutral on that last part. Don't care either way. I think there is a, a interesting point here, and I'm sorry to say this because I think it's it's from you, Dave. Um, yeah, go ahead. Because this is from so um so now well, not, not screw so much. I, I don't mind if you pick on my text. Go ahead. Okay. Um. So, uh, I, I think. Now, why isn't it in here anymore? So I, at the first I thought that this was text was a little bit, or maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm mistaken, that evidence is defined by the party that consumes it as a role that consumes it or that creates it. It wasn't that the definition of concept no. service. It's at some point, no. it's gone. Right now it's defined as the line that goes between an attester and a verifier. Yeah. yeah. And, is... and this, this just okay. because she reviewed a previous rev, we haven't changed, I'll just say, we. We, this is the correct text that she's reviewing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, my, my, my opinion on Kathleen's evidence, because she says, should this definition be more about evidence, what evidence is, rather than the roles involved? My opinion, no. Oh, so I think that her idea is that it's supposed to, it's supposed to be more, fa more concrete and factual and give people a real Oh, that's what you're talking about, um, and that's so why it includes the may include that the may include. Um, I totally agree I, that we don't we don't like this this monster no, here, and I think that's partly change, why we got rid of it. The whole change is wrong, and I think this gets to I think one of Hannes's comments, right? If you think about okay. Hannes's comments that we haven't gotten to yet, uh, I'm going to paraphrase because I remember the exact wording, but he said, you know, what's the difference between evidence and attestation results? Can they have the same format? In other words, could you use an E for both? And of course, the answer is yes, because evidence is not a definition of what the format is or what the information is. It's a it's the label for the line between two specific roles, right? And so if you look at Kathleen's definition here, that definition right. would almost equally apply because of the about or it's not originating from it. If information about that would apply to attestation results too, and that would be wrong. And so that's why I think that the original definition is correct and the suggestion is wrong. Because so the, the suggestion the, the, can apply to attestation results too, which it's not. The evidence is evidence because it, of because of who it travels from and who it travels to, not a, specifically about what how it's encoded or. Sure what it represents but because we have information temper evident and, and temper resistant you know so this is this is like real life csi evidence if you temper with it it's it's worthless if you can change it on this line by it's traversing the line it's useless to you so there has to be some some mechanism in place for evidence i think that's that's very important to say that that makes it uh, uh be integral when you send it in the same way it will receive it so, so how you do the signatures other methods it's up to you but are, are there are there some examples that we're that we agree are always considered you know evidence? Of I have no objection to using the phrase you know that may include configuration data measurements, telemetry, inferences. I said I'm neutral on that part. I, I, that, if we want to add that, that's fine with me. So, so, so I, evidence I, may include. So I could add to the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. 
evidence may include oh, why isn't it working um and uh just repeat the word evidence and may yeah. include blah 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 I think that's fine, although I think what Hank was suggesting is some statement about the security is inherent in the definition of, of evidence. And Pete wanted so, to say something, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So if you put that into that same second sentence, I think that's a, I don't have an objection to that. How do we do that? Just a moment. Let me put that in here and get a pull request going so we can edit it. So when it comes to evidence, I, I always like the idea that evidence is claims and it's either claims about the system or claims about other claims. And, and sure. if you just define evidence in terms of information about the system, you really lose the idea that evidence can be also about the evidence itself. <clears throat> I, I agree with that comment. I know that we've had this conversation before and we, we did, we ruled out the use of the word claim because uh, it wasn't, Intuitive enough or something? I, I don't remember us ruling it out. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I agree with uh, Peter's point because I thought we actually covered that later in the document and not in the definition of evidence, which we're trying to keep short. I yeah. think Ned is correct for the definition of evidence, although we do try to cover Peter's point later in the document. That's my recollection anyway. So I, I think it's, it's misinforming the reader if we limit evidence to be statements about the system itself here in the definition of evidence, because the evidence may be included in a, the actual attestation, but it may be coming from someplace else. What do you mean? Given trying to figure out which case you're talking about, Peter? So if, it, claims can be made directly or they can be made indirectly by something that you see in the evidence. So if you see proof that a system is something, you may use evidence that that system has a certain property that you glean from someplace else either from a, some other attestation or knowledge that you have in your uh, at the appraiser. Um, but that is all evidence that goes into the decision that you're going to make about the attestation evidence. And, um, and if I understand you, and I'm not sure I do, then I disagree with you. Either, so either I, I don't understand you or I disagree with you. So, for example, the verifier uses evidence and endorsements. And the information that's in the endorsements are used to do the appraisal, but it's not what I would call evidence, even though it includes claims. And the claims might even be claims about the attester, but they're not evidence as we've defined it. I agree with you, Dave. Sorry, that was Lawrence, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Here, it's purely a terminology point. It's not a technical point. Technically, Peter's right. I'm just saying terminology was we've defined yes. evidence as being the part of the information that comes from the attester as opposed to things that come from other entities, which we would call endorsements. What is an endorsement but, a, but evidence, though? All right. It, it, it's, it's all it, it, think of it in terms of a, a trial. You know, the appraiser is a judge and there's going to be a case made at the appraiser and there's going to be things entered into evidence. Um, there and that an endorsement is itself just evidence that is um, being used to determine the outcome of the appraisal. <clears throat> so we agree. We agree with your semantic argument. We're just the, the term. We are just settled on terminology where the cl claims sort of is the word that is 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 representing the semantics of your argument. Well, claims as, as does evidence. So we just the container where the, where the source of them differentiate. In the end, evidence, endorsements is the evidence is not coming from the investor. You could in this room we can say this. You can call these endorsements to differentiate them because the source is vastly different. Yeah, in, in Peter's terminology, right? It's in the you know courtroom analogy. Um, the, since evidence was the term that we came up with to have this particular meaning, right? In Peter's example, the closest term in that context you might be able to come up with is uh, testimony, right? If you talk about the testimony of a particular witness and you're using other information to decide beyond that witness's testimony, whether that witness is, is uh, you know, whether it's collaborating information or uh, statements of, uh, you know, whether that entity has a criminal record or something that would be considered an endorsement. You know, by the way, this guy has no criminal record. That would be an endorsement. And so testimony would be the equivalent there. But here we're using the term evidence to mean what, Peter, in your case, you might use the word testimony for. I, I have a question. And you can tell me whether you think this is evidence or not evidence. 
So let's say that I have a, a uh, system that is a, a hypervisor with some sort of uh, guest operating system environment. And I'd like to uh, attest to that operating system environment. At the appraisal point, I decide that I need to also have some information about the um, hypervisor itself. And even the means and by which I measured the hypervisor and or measured the appraisal or the, um, the guest operating system environment. And so at the appraiser, the evidence that I'm going to see, and I, I use that in a more general term, uh, mm -hmm. I get information about the OS, I get information about the measurement technique, and I get information about the hypervisor. And the appraiser sees that. Which is evidence and which is an endorsement, or is it all evidence? Well, that is evidence because it all comes from the overall system. I mean, the hypervisor is on box, and so it comes in at a single – well – if the protocol is constructed to allow it, it comes in in a single message where you have multiple attesting environments all put together into a collection of evidence that then comes from that overall attester. So now, now let's take the same example and say, where does that evidence come from? Uh, it, was it uh, submitted directly by that guest OS or was it some other helper OS on that um, hypervisor? Uh, you can't answer that without diving into a later section. This is saying if you put a big box around the whole set of them and call that the attester um, as being the thing with a protocol endpoint, right? The protocol endpoint is, you know, the thing was, say, you know, a TLS session to the to the verifier. Um, and then what is that entity is what you're asking. You're saying, well, that depends on the implementation. But if it all comes across one session from something on the box. It's been collected from various entities whether it comes from that entity or whether it's collected by something and sent by something else after it's already been signed, um, there's different implementations, right? So, so, so I can't, my, I can't my point is that, that all those different pieces of individual evidence, depending on how they are put together, and yep. that, that information on how they are put together, it essentially becomes a claim about the evidence, is indeed evidence that's not really an endorsement coming from someplace else. Right, but it's still information about the attester box as a whole. It's not information about a single environment. It's information about the attester as a whole, which is the collection of environments. Well, I think you're missing an opportunity here to um, make some important points about attestation mechanism. Um, and so, my hope is that those points are made in the document, so when you, that they're not that the opportunity is not being missed by the document. It's just not in the uh, trying to keep a short uh, definition per se, but it's in the uh, types of environments section. So, a couple so, of so I think, I think we act also get this also gets into Hannes's point, which is that he thinks that we're being way too wordy and complicated and academic in our statements. And I, That's I also want to talk about Hannes's stuff too. Yeah. Go ahead. And and I think and I think and we're over the hour here, but I also I think that he's right that in general that. Uh, we're not writing a PhD thesis that needs to be um, uh, theologically correct about attestation. Um, we need to be clear enough to the extent that it affects people, the other documents. And, and that's enough. Right? I don't think as we can, but this might be not the place to talk about I'm a great support for this, so I'm unless I should go ahead and hit uh, uh, cancel and then merge. Um, I don't like getting claims in here. Okay. <clears throat> I, have, <clears throat> I have questions about whether telemetry is Ah. I'm going to leave this for discussion. Uh, and, uh, you could send me two other times. Uh, I understand if you can't do this week, so maybe we can spend it more. That is very better. Thank you. Okay, so that goes to everyone, please. Unless you have no opinion, in which case, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific it is. <laughs> he for those of you on the west, for those of you on the west coast, you should probably send me times, or it'll I, be I, I can guarantee you the time will not be any earlier than this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
I have no idea. I have no idea <laughs> where I have no idea where Europe. Eric or Sarah or or Peter <laughs> or Paul are. Right. I I don't know where you are. What time zone? So. Uh, Those of you who are in Europe, don't bother good. sending earlier times. If you're in Europe, don't bother sending the earlier ones. It won't be. It won't match. I'm on the US. Europeans stay up late. We can go for midnight <laughs> European time. <laughs> there you go. They're allowed to go to to restaurants and cafes now. You know. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, although we are too, as of this week, and I was out last night and writing emails in the in the pub <laughs> all right all right we'll alone in the corner <laughs> all right bye see you bye, -bye. cheers